Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be going over which free-to-play characters have the Dismal Future Link. So unlike the Vegeta Family Link, there's not a lot of cards or characters in the game that actually have the Dismal Future Link, at least free-to-play. Um, there are some worth mentioning, though. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Um, the first one is Halo of Destruction Fusion Zamasu. Now this one is the one that is currently out that is grindable under the Internal God Distorter of Worlds event. He is available in the first round, the first level. That level is the ultimate power of a god. Um, I would recommend grinding him up to Super Attack 10 just because he is a very viable unit. Um, though his Super Attack multiplier, damage multiplier, is only a huge damage, he does have that amazing passive skill of attacked enemy minus 25% or attack minus 25%. Uh, his leader skill is intelligence, type enemies, attack, and defense minus 20%. Super attack, blades of judgment, causes huge damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Passive skill, radiant pressure, attacked enemies, attack minus 25%. And link skills, nightmare, fused fighter, big bad bosses, dismal future, and cold judgment. His max stats are at HP of 6097, attack of 6273, and defense of 3524. Now, he's a physical unit, so he will be good against the intelligence uh, trunks that you run up against in the event. Let's see. He only goes to intelligence uh, in the last round. You just need to make sure you kill him in that last round. He only has one bar of health. I, I wouldn't rely on him. I would recommend if you have a stronger card or if you actually pulled the um, Fusion Zamasu from the banner, use him over this one definitely 100%. But he would be a good viable unit just because he lowers the attack enemy. He doesn't need to get a super attack off or anything. He just needs to attack them. But yeah, he's a physical unit. He will be decent in the last round, but he won't be as viable in the first and third rounds because you're going up against a strength type trunks. Uh, but, you know, again, he has a dismal future link. If you're looking to build a team based off of that, he is my number one choice just because of that passive. The next one we're going to look at is a future destroyed Goku Black. Now, unfortunately, the event is not here, so you cannot grind him. I do not know when that event is going to come out. It's a future destroyed Goku Black. Leader skill, agility, type, enemy, attack, and defense, minus 20%. Super attack is Black Kamehameha. Causes huge damage to the enemy. Passive skill, seasoned warrior. Attack and defense, plus 30% when, uh, when key is 7 or more. Link skills are Nightmare, Kamehameha, Dismal Future, Cold Judgment, and Big Bad Bosses. His max attack or max stats are HP of 7169, attack of 5832, and defense of 3801. Now you might have noticed when I was talking about or when I was saying his link skills, he sounds like he has a lot of the link skills of the fusions of Monster, the free-to-play one, and that is very true. They share the Nightmare Link, which is attack plus 10%, Big Bad Bosses, which is attack and defense plus 25% when HP is 80% or below, Dismal Future, which is key plus 1, and Cold Judgment, which isn't that great, but it's attack plus 300. Both of these cards also have summonable units, so if you have the summonable unit versus the one that's, uh, that's grindable, I would re recommend using that over this. But these two cards do very well when linked together. Um, if you don't have a strong team going up against the Rage Trunks, I would recommend uh, tr maybe maybe having both of these on your team just because they link so well together. I mean, the tech one will not do that well against the la the last stage of, tr of when you're going up against Rage Trunks. Um, and I know that there is no agility stage you actually go up against. But again, uh, you're looking for the Dismal Future Link. I'm just giving you what what is available. You could, let's say you have the Fusion Samasu, you could run this Goku Black if you have him and you didn't pull the physical one. Um, that way they actually hit off on each other's links a little bit better. But let's not get stuck on that. I don't mean to make, take up all your time. The next one is going to be the Intelligence Youth Trunks. It's Roar of Sadness and Rage, Trunks Youth Future. Uh, now, you might have known this one from the last video. Um, then he also contains the Vegeta family. That he was, that's why he was in that video. Super attack is Heat Dome attack, causes huge damage to the enemy. Passive skill against uh, fight against despair. Attack plus 30% when facing two or more enemies. So that passive skill is not that great. Link skill, the Vegeta family, Saiyan lineage, Brainiac, Saiyan warrior race, and Dismal Future. Um, he is the base form. He Doken awakens into a Super Saiyan version of himself. Um, he's not really that great of a card, but again, if you're just looking for someone with a Dismal Future link, go ahead and grab that. Uh, so that way you could at least have someone to let's say, hit off that Link skill. Um, his, his Super Saiyan form, his Doken Awakened form, is the Future Changer Super Saiyan Trunks from the Future. Leader skill, intelligence type, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Super attack is Heat Dome attack, which causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill, power from the past. Attack plus 50% when facing two or more opponents. And link skills, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Lineage, Super Saiyan, the Vegeta Family, Saiyan Warrior Ace, and Dismal Future. 
uh, max stats are HP of 7276, attack of 6785, and defense of 4255. Um, again, he has Dismal Future Link. He is not an ideal unit to run, but if you're looking for good units to, that actually are free to play units, I actually have the Dismal Future Link just to hit it off. He's someone else that I could recommend. Um, the next one is Stands Throughout Resistance Trunks Teen Future. Um, he has a leader skill of strength and tech type key plus one. Super attack is Misenko. Causes huge damage to the enemy passive skill, fighting to the finish. Attack and defense plus 25% for seven turns from the start of turn. Link skills, the Vegeta family, Saiyan warrior race, a messenger from the future, the Saiyan lineage, and dismal future. Um, this is the one that Doken awakens into another Super Saiyan Trunks. He is grindable from the Dragon Ball Super Future Trunks Saga event. Um, I'm sorry I didn't mention in the last one, the Trunks Roar of Sadness and Rage Trunks Youth Future, the Intelligence one. He is grindable from Fight Against Hope or Hope, Fight Against Despair event. Uh, that is currently not out, but I just wanted to make sure I, I, I mentioned that. Um, the Doken Awakened version of the Stance Throughout Resistance, the Strength one that's currently available, uh, is Power of Rage Super Saiyan Trunks from the Future Leader Skill as Strength and Tech Type Key Plus 2. Super Attack Final Flash causes extreme damage to the enemy. Passive Skill Furious Resolve Attack and Defense plus 30% for 7 turns from the start of turn. Link Skill Super Saiyan Golden Warrior The Vegeta Family Over in a Flash Dismal Future Messenger from the Future. And his max stats are HP of 7726, Attack of 7018, and Defense of 4113. Um, he is um, a better unit if you don't have any others. I mean, he would be good if you have a super good super team or a super good strength team and you're just trying to find someone to hit off someone else's Dismal Future Link. Um, he's just better because he has that extreme damage multiplier and you get him to super attack 10. And that passive skill is somewhat decent. It would probably, if you're looking to use him on a free-to-play team, his passive skill will most likely run out on you before you finish the event. Uh, just trying to be real there, because I don't think you're going to be able to do it in seven rounds unless you have some seriously OP units and you're just looking for one to hit off that link skill. Um, but let's go ahead with the last one. It is the Future Bearer Gohan from the Future. Leader skill, all types attack increased by 15%. Super attack is Kamehameha, causes huge damage to the enemy. Passive skill, inherited power. Uh, attack and defense increased by 20% when HP is 50% or above. Link skills are Cold Judgment, All in the Family, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, Kamehameha, and Dismal Future. His max stats are HP of 6881, Attack of 5650, and Defense of 3535. Again, this is another card that is not that uh, optimal for a team. Uh, he does have the link, though, and he is also available from the Hope Fight Against Despair event. Um, again, that is not out, so if you don't have those ones, then I you know, you won't be using it at this point in the game, if, especially if you're trying to grind it out right now. Um, the two, well, yeah, the two that you can get right now is the Stance Throughout Resistance Trunk Teen Future, that's the Strength one, and the Halo of Destruction Fusions Moss. If those are the two that you can definitely get right now. I personally would recommend the Halo of Destruction Fusions Moss just because of that passive skill attack enemy attack minus 25%. He also drops as an SSR, so you don't need any uh, medals to awaken him. But that is it, guys, at least for the free ones. Um, I know that there are other cards that are available that you might have. Um, I just want to briefly mention the um, a future Forsaken Android 17. That's the physical SR, just because he has a more common drop rate. And you also have the Dastardly Demonus Android 18 from the future. They are both SRs. They or have a higher rate of dropping, so you might have those two if you want to use them. Um, they may be good. Uh, pretty much, uh, I don't want to say it that this is that definite, but I'm pretty sure that most cards that have the title Future in it um, have the Dismal Future link in there. Um, I'm not 100% certain on that, but I'm pretty sure that all, all, almost every single one of them do. Things may have changed in the game. But that's it, guys. I really hope that was helpful. I hope that worked out for you. Um, I hope you're able to take on this event. Let me know if you're if you're able to. You could definitely brute force your way through this event. Um, I took my LR Broly team, and I was able to brute force with him. And I took my uh, villains team, and I took my super team. And all of them were able to brute force right through it. So it, it's not impossible. But again, if you're just starting out, this might help you out. Well, again, good luck, everyone. I hope you're able to uh, get through this event. I hope you got the cards you uh, wanted if you pulled on the banner. Please remember to subscribe here if you're new, and you all have a great night.